Hey guys, it's Zama again, and today we're going to be taking a look at, at strategies for Supreme Commander 2. Now, in these episodes, I'm going to be showing some of my personal favorite strategies for each of the factions. Alright, so today we're going to be taking a look at um, turtling for the UEF. Now, what you're going to want to do here is essentially just start by taking all the mass in the area. It's very very important because if you don't take the mass then you don't have money and then you got problems make sure you take all of it what I used to do in the past is just grab most of it and then leave a few like mass that I didn't grab out in the background don't do that it really is worth it to grab all the mass you can get now then you're gonna want to start by building a lot of energy also that will pay off later in the game alright so first build point defense this is the first point in your turtling magical base of horrible destruction. Alright, so now that you have your nice wall here, you're going to want to start researching towards shields in a moment here. So There you go, so we have shields here, so now we're going to want to put those up. Now that you have shields, the enemy won't be able to shoot through that, and thus stopping them from blowing up your face. Alright, now, there are little ways for the engineers to get in through the water there, so just, well, this, it's basically just an easy way to say, cover all points where stuff could get in. Like, not much stuff is going to come through there, so two or three point defense would suffice, but on any map, just basically cover the central point with a lot of point defense and shields. This will be the first step. Alright, so next, once you've researched it, you're going to want to get um, short range artillery and hardened shell, which I'm showing right here. Hardened shell basically acts like a point of, acts like turning your short range artillery into a point defense turret. It basically launches the shells straight across the field and into large amounts of energy or er, enemies, thus taking out large blocks of them. Next thing you want to start researching here is the mass converters take that top road of research along the top because it gives you the best best bonuses and more mass more energy and all that so once you have your line set up take out any the um the short range artillery will definitely help take out any missile launchers that come towards your base because people love to use missile launchers to park up front of your gates and just bombard your um point defense and completely take them out so definitely put um, short range artillery and shields and that'll stop all all destruction of your point defense by missiles alright so I'm gonna wanna set up a little line there to stop the noob cakes from coming into my base with their engineers the engineers don't do much it's just the AIs love to send them over it won't really happen much alright so now that we have mass converters here you're gonna wanna put down three of them right there, or, well, wherever you have room. Now, try not to put them near crucial structures, because when those things explode, they explode, and they take out stuff all around. So don't put those in the middle of your point defense line. It's just asking, hey, please blow me up. All right, so once you have that, make sure you put three down, because it gives you a large amount of mass when you convert, but it doesn't tax your energy. Now, converting does turn energy into mass. That's why the large amount of energy paid off in the long run. Alright, so then get lots of research stations. Those are also, now at this point in the battle, they're very crucial because you want to stay technologically ahead of your enemy so you can make an army to push out. So now, you're going to, once you have your research, start making an army to push out of your base and essentially win the game. So, now that you've set these up, you're just going to definitely keep upgrading your front line. Just make sure nothing, nothing too too stupid gets through your line. Don't like leave gaps or just don't make dumb mistakes. Just make, make sure it's nice and reinforced. Got point defense, then artillery, then shields. In that order. From front to back, point defense, artillery, shields. Now, they're going to start sending in some small armies here. Now, oh, another thing. Make sure you research your um, stars, which basically upgrade their abilities, damage, and armor all at once. Um, upgrade those up to five stars as soon as possible. All right, I've got it on my building, so that'll keep that army out. So they're going to try charging here, and they're 
going to get utterly destroyed. Now when they get that close, it's definitely a time to press the harden artillery button. Now a few of them snuck through, but they didn't damage anything. So I'm just going to send the, actually, research artillery too. That is a great thing to do, because that way you won't even have to leave your base. But not all the time is it unlocked in servers, so the tank alternative is also really nice. So I'm going to start doubling up the point defense line and waiting for this tank army. All right, so there's the tank army. Now, I did skip a little bit there for the tank army to build. Um, sorry about that. I just needed to, you know, it would be boring to watch a bunch of tanks just pile up. All right, so now that we um, have the tanks, we're going to start upgrading them. Um, now, you probably don't need afterburners, but they might be useful in the future. Like, definitely, if you're fighting a Cybern, make sure to get um, afterburners because you can take out their megaliths because megaliths do the really good range, and you usually can't catch up to them. All right, so we're going to have the first little skirmish on the bridge here. As you can tell, the shield and um, damage upgraded tanks of mine do way more damage than theirs even come close to. All right, so there's a actually larger force of theirs is going to start battling with my smaller force, but I still have more shields and upgrades, so I'm going to tell these guys to fight them, and pretty much their army is getting massively destroyed. Now, my army is taking hits, but not near to as many as theirs. So, and we can definitely thank the upgrades for that. So, then once you do that, just start building some artillery, if you have it, if it's unlocked. Just build it as a harassment device, just to stop them from building new stuff. So, this tank army should be able to pretty easily just walk right into their base and take their faces off with their magical weapon guns of doom. Alright, so, um, actually, I did target their commander pretty early in this base. It's not usually the best idea to do, because the commander will blow up, and it'll usually take out your army, but it won't take out larger structures. They patch the game, and so the commander nuclear explosion isn't as powerful, so it won't take out, like, factories and such. It'll take out smaller units hit and, like, his army, but it won't take out um, like the larger structures such as factories. So that's why I have this smaller army just to come in and finish. Just gonna research afterburners here just to speed up speed up the game a bit. So um yeah just gonna finish off any little outstretch parts of his base here. Uh, finish off the main part. Make sure to target any t engineers trying to escape because those can be a pain and just you know them building. Alright, so that is game. That is how you effectively use turtling to win a Supreme Commander match. I know that was an AI. Don't say, oh, he was using an AI. That was too easy. I just did it for the, um, for the sake of making the video easy to watch and explain. So that was uh, Turtling, guys. This has been Zama42 for Brave World Entertainment. I hope you guys enjoy. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and tell me if I should do more of these or if I'm a moron and I screwed this up horribly. Peace.